And with that, we can get started. For those of you that are new or don't remember, my name is Jennifer Clayton. I am NISPA's Attorney Wellbeing Program Manager. And this is Mindful Moments, our spring meditation series, which we have carried through since um, our winter meditation series. And the Bar Association really views this as an intentional moment to come back to the present and stay grounded, um, because that's what makes a really well-balanced and sustainable approach to, to this this career field you've all chosen is to be centered and focused on the moment. Um, with that, I'm very excited to welcome Lisa Podemski, one of our facilitators. We have three facilitators of this series, um, both Anne and Neethi as well, um, are members of the Committee on Attorney Wellbeing, and they are here today, or Lisa's here today, um, to facilitate a meditation for us. So um, Lisa, I'll, I'll pass it on to you. Thank you for being here today. Of course. Um, and like Jen said, it's being recorded just on me, but I can see everyone and everyone, if you'd like, can see everyone they want to see. And again, you don't want to be seen. You can be off camera, do whatever is comfortable for you. So um, as this is meditation, but also mindfulness, um, and you can confirm or not, but I I know that I felt the earthquake that happened about um, three hours ago now, um, and it ungrounded me a little bit. So if people are comfortable standing up for a moment, I just want us to ground ourselves physically a little bit. Um, yeah, shook me up. I'm on the eighth floor in my office, um, and it was... It was a little destabilizing. So we can physically ground ourselves. So standing up, and if you're uncomfortable standing um, at all, you can stand behind a chair or on a bookshelf or hold down to your chair. And have your feet a little wider than hips distance, just so you feel steady on the ground. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes and holding on to something great, otherwise lower your gaze so you don't have to look at the computer um, or your phone. You can look down at your desk or at the floor. And just start to notice your breath. Your breath might be more in your chest. You might feel a little more anxious. I know I do, and that's normal after something unexpected happens. As you notice your breath, start to deepen your breath. So as you inhale, just notice how your breath goes in through your nose, down your throat, into your lungs, perhaps filling your belly, and let it go. And as you inhale, imagine the breath coming in from the top of your head. Yes, it's coming in through your nose, but through the top of your head and imagine it going through your entire body, down through your legs and out through your feet onto the earth supporting you. That earth could be your living room floor or your office floor. Just feel that grounding and steadiness beneath you, a solid ground. Continue a few more rounds of receiving a deep inhale coming through your head, following filling your lungs and your belly, radiating energy through your legs. And as you exhale, feel that energy come up through your legs. And as the air exits through your mouth or your nose, feel that energy exit as well. So receiving an inhale, grounding us. And as we exhale, releasing that tension. So a few more rounds on your own, receiving a very full inhale through your nose, filling your entire body, feeling the steadiness of the feet, of your feet and the earth beneath you holding you. And then an exhale, just letting that energy go and that anxiety or unsettled feeling, just release. Your next two inhales, just feel that fullness. And the next two exhales, 
Release with an audible sigh. <sighs> let the air go out your mouth and perhaps let your body feel a little more relaxed and relaxed physically. Now that you feel more grounded, we can let go a little more. So inhaling fully through your body, through the earth. And as you exhale, like let it go. Release your shoulders. Perhaps bend your knees. Don't stand up straight. Slouch a little and let it go. And if you're comfortable shifting from right leg to left leg, just shift a little, feel comfortable holding on or opening your eyes, whatever you need to do. Just now that you have more steadiness, allow some energy to move through your body. Breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Just shake out your arms a little bit, just shaking out all that tension physically from your body. Not looking at you, you can go as wild as you need to go or as subtle as your body needs. And you can come back to stillness and find a seat again, or if you prefer to stay standing, you can stay standing. If you prefer to lay down, please lay down. Just wanted, I know I was feeling anxious from this morning and feeling an unsteadiness beneath me and, and an anxiety just in my chest um, that wasn't there this morning when I came to work. So now that we've all found our seats, you can just sit comfortably, but if it's possible to not lean back so much in your chair or if you are leaning back, still having a long spine. And what I mean by a long spine it's an extended spine, but not a straight spine. So maintaining the natural curves in your back. There's a scoop in the lumbar, lower back, a little curve in your upper back, which is normal, it doesn't mean you're hunching, and another indentation at your neck. As you breathe, imagine your shoulders dropping. They might not actually physical drop, physically drop, but as you exhale, imagine them dropping. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, please close your eyes. Otherwise, please lower your gaze. Don't look at me. There's no need. Settling into your chair after a long week. Just finding stillness and presence. physically grounded in our seat, our pelvises are heavy. You can plant your feet on the ground. If you're on a couch, that means you can bend your knees and put your feet on the ground. If you're in a desk chair, to move forward in your chair if you need to, to plant your feet on the ground. Take your palms and plant them on your upper thighs. And as you inhale, press your palms into your thighs. As you exhale, let that go as you let your shoulders drop. Do that several more times. As you inhale through your nose, press your palms into your upper thighs. Yes, you'll be creating a little bit of tension which on the exhale, you can release. Feeling your shoulders drop. Inhaling fully through your nose, filling your body with air and pressing your palms into your thighs. Exhaling, letting that release, feeling the tension you created dissipate. A few more times on your own, just pressing with your inhale, releasing that with your exhale. We all breathe differently, so I'm going to have you do that for three to five rounds on your own. We all breathe at different paces, and that's great. You'll just inhale and exhale, press and release at your own pace for a few rounds of breath.
We were able to continue for about two or three more rounds now. Just notice if your breaths have become longer and fuller. Notice if they haven't. And now pay attention to your inhale and exhale. I had asked you to notice if they've lengthened. Try and count how long your inhale is and how long your exhale is. I'm not gonna count for you because again, all our breaths are different and you are in control of the pace of your own breath. So for example, and you don't have to follow my count, it would be in, two, three, four, out, two, three, Just counting how long your inhale is and how long your exhale is. Using this count as a mantra to tether your mind to. So you're physically and mentally tethered to your breath. If possible and comfortable, please add one count to your inhale and one count to your exhale. So if mine was in two, three, four, it's now in two, three, four, five. If it was out two, three, it's out two, three, four. If at any point you feel a struggle to catch your breath, please return to your natural breathing. You can always come back to this or you can sit quietly and count your breaths however feels comfortable for you. Continuing to count your breaths, your inhale and your exhale. Once you become comfortable with that practice, try and match your inhale and exhale, meaning they should be the same counts. If your inhale is five counts, make your exhale five counts. And it oftentimes is easier to match the counts with the lower count breath. So if your exhale was four counts, you can make your inhale and exhale four counts. Just having an equal steady breath, an equal inhale and an equal exhale. This is a practice you can come back to regularly. It helps balance the nervous system. And brings a sense of equanimity. Once you're comfortable matching your inhale and exhale, now I'm gonna ask you if you're comfortable to try and extend your exhale by one count. So your exhale is longer than your inhale. If this is something you usually practice, feel free to increase your exhale by more than one count. If this isn't something you normally practice, please get to one count.
Longer exhales stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system. So our rest and digest system, we're normally stuck in our sympathetic nervous system of go, go, go. So this again is a helpful practice to use in moments of tension and overwhelm. If this is something you're comfortable with, continue with it. If you do feel comfortable, now I'm going to ask for you to try to increase your exhale for two counts. So if your inhale is five counts, your exhale is now seven counts. Again, if this causes tension in your mind or body, you can release it at any time, coming back to your natural breath. Just the practice of breathing and counting your inhales and exhales at whatever rate they are is really helpful. So don't feel that you have to do something that is uncomfortable for your own body. I'm gonna ask now if you've been inhaling ex and exhaling through your nose, if you can now inhale through your nose and exhale slowly through your mouth, continuing the counting practice you've been doing and you're most comfortable with. Inhaling slowly through your nose, but exhaling slowly through your mouth. And then at this point, if you can come back to an equal breath, so an equal inhale and an equal exhale, you can go back to whatever your inhale count was and just match your inhale to your exhale again. A steadying your breath. Start to notice your hands on your thighs again and your feet on the ground. Notice your seat in your chair. Your next three breaths, inhale normally and exhale with an audible sigh. And after your third exhale, you can slowly open your eyes if you're comfortable, finding yourself back in the space, your physical space. Just let it go and welcome back. And thank you so much. And now we can start our share and please 
ask whatever you'd like and share whatever you'd like.